Get on your kachina then, real quick. You wanna? Here we have Gerald working on his kachina, trying to. We just tried to use him for an introduction for unraveling the secrets on Blog TV for my friend uh, Dennis Crenshaw and uh, Rick Osmond. But uh, we'll see how well it came out. Uh, everybody gets stage fright, including myself, trying to make these videos. And uh, Gerald got a little stage fright himself, so. You want to spin your kachina around there and show us what you're making there? Let the world see what you're making there, my friend. The sun kachina? That's called the sun kachina. Yeah. And, and Gerald forgot to tell you, Gerald's from Hoot Villa, which is the third mesa, which Hoot is... Hoot Villa, third mesa? Third mesa, and it's the last village be between, uh, before you get to Tuba City. So, um, there you go, world. Enjoy once again. And here we're in one of the side rooms again, just showing some more kachinas here. And we'll just walk on down here through these gentlemen's kachinas here that we have offered. Beautiful kachinas here, all made in Arizona. Where are you from, sir? Palaka. You're from Palaka? And Palaka is the first mesa for everybody out there. I'll come back and tell you how to find yourself on YouTube. I'll put this out on YouTube. Thank you. Oh, you're from Hootville also. All the cars just seem to be from Hootville out here. Are you from Hootville also? Where are you from? You're from First Mesa, so you're from Palaka then, huh? Yeah. I've been up there a lot, so I'm And I'll come back through and tell you how to find yourself on YouTube. Because I film these and put them on YouTube. I do jewelry myself, so I like to help get everybody out. I do lost wax casting jewelry myself. So I come out every year and try to film you guys and get you out there a little bit, get a little exposure. Yeah. And we just pan around here. I'm going to set this down right here so I can keep filming, folks. What town? Uh, Santa Fe. You're from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Are you Hopi or Tewa? You're Hopi, huh? Where's your family from originally? Montopi. Huh? Montopi. Okay, and it's tough to say those towns over there. I spent a lot of time up there, so I know. And I'll come back and tell you how to find yourself. You'll be on YouTube tomorrow night. And I, I, I do jewelry myself, and I just try to give everybody some exposure when I, every year when I come down here. So I'll come back around and let you know how to get a hold, find yourself on YouTube. And here we have really a beautiful kachino. I'll have to take some pictures of this stuff you put on my blog. And I do a blog too, and you'll be able to find my blog from there, and there's a bunch of Hopi carvings and stuff on there. I'm just going to pan up and down and let this gentleman introduce himself and tell us where you're from, also, sir. So my name is David Roy, and I'm from Tuba City, Arizona. And Tuba City is uh, a village of Hopi. And he, that is a Hopi village, by the way. That is, I've been there. That's where I saw my first Kachina dance. Uh -huh. right, I forget what it's called. That's right. And it, yeah, I saw down there by the creek. Yeah. And I had a couple of Hopi electrician friends of mine, and uh, they told me there's only Hopi really living on three villages anymore. It was Old Arabi down there, and what was the third village? Huh? It wouldn't be Hope Villa. Uh, starts with an S. Shopovova. Yeah, Shopovi. On the second Mesa, exactly. He said, in the re and most of the rest of them were Tewa. But that was just an electrician hoping friend I worked with that told me that. Yeah, on the first Mesa. Well, Flocka is Tewa. Yeah. So I know that for sure, and we get pan down here. And uh, if you want to get a hold, see this video of your beautiful Gachina here, it'll be on YouTube. And those people over there got all the information, and I'll have it downloaded yeah. by tonight or tomorrow afternoon, so you'll be on there. Okay. Everybody's a, everybody a little, huh? Oh, yeah, I'll spin it around. I'll pan around here and come back to you. And uh, this gentleman wanted to show us the back of his kachina also. You can see that it is just well carved, too, and just a beautiful piece of work, like all the kachinas. Um, and I have a few myself. Uh, some people say you can't have enough kachinas, but... Um, 
They are expensive, and something like this would be a lot of money right here. And this took a lot of work. And the wood, so everybody knows, comes from the Verde River, and it's a dried cottonwood root. And one more little shot and of the area here. Uh, enjoy, folks. And here again, just some more kachinas. Another beautiful kachina, and this gentleman agreed to introduce himself, and he's the one who carved these beautiful kachinas. Your name, sir? Sydney Wulhiku. And where are you from, sir? Um, I live in Old Oribe. You live in Old Oribe, right. and I got old friends from Old Oribe, so yeah. that's what got me going into coming down here and doing all this oh, stuff anyway. Okay. So uh, Patrick Lancer was an old friend of mine, uh -huh. and Lonnie, and I can't say his last name, but oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And I used to spend a lot of time up there about ten years ago. Yeah, so. my wife owns that little shop there. Oh, your wife owns the shop. Uh, so, well, so she probably remember the old hippie with the long blonde hair then. Cause I probably, and, I, and I'll give you my blog address. And, and I got some great photos from up there. And some of the people and the girl that has the house right next to it. And there's some great photos from up there. And I'll give you my blog address. And when you go online and go back up to your sister, she can see pictures of the place and stuff. Okay. That Lonnie and Patrick let me take years ago. Uh -huh. So let me just pan down while some more photos of your beautiful workmanship here. Yeah, thank you. And... Um, I'll give you my blog address here, bud, in a moment. A lot of work goes into these things, folks. Oh, Appreciate yeah. it. Yes, do. And here's the gentleman's name. And here for the first time, but all the years I've been coming down here, I found a female carver. And I'm going to show her work here. And we'll pan up. And dear, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, my name is Sandra. I'm from the village of Mokola. And... Uh, Do you know any other female carvers? I've never, uh, I've never seen one here before. I've seen one up there. Quite a few. There is quite a few now. Uh, not very gifted, okay. talented. They don't all come out as you know. This is good. Along. Mainly the baskets and the other stuff like that, and 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 the uh, blankets and stuff yeah. like that, right? Well, that's why I said I've never seen a female carver. So uh, I'll show you how to find yourself on YouTube. All right. Thank you very much, dear. And we just thought we'd show these real quick right here. Kachina, you say the other name, don't you? Kachina. Uh, say it again for us. Kachina. Yeah, yeah, okay. Kachina. Yeah, last year you were over by the window. Yeah. Well, you know, 